Welcome back to Scotty's Clock World. I upload new clock repair videos on Sunday and Wednesday mornings of every week. I've taken the movement out of the clock case. First thing we'll do is we'll let the springs down. Put a let down tool over the winding arbor. Tighten it up a little bit. Put some pressure on it, put a screwdriver in behind the click. Let the let down tool wind around slowly in your hand till all the pressure is out of the spring. Right, now we do the other one. We do the same thing for this side. Bit of pressure. That is tight. Remove the click, pull it backwards. And let the let down tool run slowly around in your hand. Now it's let down. Now we'll remove the hammer. By unscrewing this screw up here, and the hammer just slides off over there. Now we'll remove the crutch. Two pliers. We'll take that horrible looking pin out that's just been mangled and shoved in. Certainly hasn't been finished properly. We'll redo that. We'll cut another one and put it in later. Take the suspension spring out. Those over there. Do that screw. That one. That's called the back cock. We remove the crutch. It has the pallets on it that work on the escape wheel. That PC. Turn it back over the other side. We'll start to take the movement to pieces. Oop, 
unscrew that and it comes out very quickly. Right, now we can see what we got. That space up goes underneath there. We'll take this lift lever off now, undoing that screw. That will now slide off. Put it back onto the arbor. So we don't lose it. Right, this is the next one. Screw down in there. Loosen it off. Pull the arbor out. that back on so we know which is which right now we're ready to take the rest of it apart we'll loosen the nuts and hold the plates together Our little spanner, six mil spanner. Much easier to use a little tool like this than a, a small shifting spanner. One's loose. We've done that. Seriously tight. We remove the click spring. Put that in the going side. Now we'll remove the click. Do the same for the strike side. Plenty of gunk underneath there.
Now we'll remove the ratchet. Larger screwdriver handles the job. The going side. Right, now we can remove the nuts that hold the plate together. Right, one to go. Seems to be a little bit tight. Wind him off with the spanner. Right, that's all stripped down. Now, very carefully, remove the top plate. There, little bit there. This wheel, take that out, strike side, and we got tiny little piece of wire holding it in. It is tight. Yeah, they don't slide out like some do. So we're going to have to remove that piece there. I'll have to do that off camera, it's going to be too hard to do it so you can see what I'm doing. Finally got that piece of wire out. They should have used a circlip on it, not a piece of wire. It was really, really tight. We now remove that wheel, put that aside. We can take out the two springs. Strike side, going side, it 
bits of dried up oil and stuff on there and over the front where it's been over oiled right I'll get that cleaned up put it through the ultrasonic then we'll come back and check the bushings and see how they go in relation to the pivots I've removed all the parts from the ultrasonic cleaner so we'll now separate them up into the going side put those in there and the strike side individual components and then we'll start to put the movements together and then I'll start to put the wheels back into the going side and then the strike side and we'll check the bushes and the pivots and make sure that everything works properly and to see whether we require any additional bushing them over there going side these are the strike side wheels first wheel star wheel warning wheel and the fly there they are all laid out in order the snail and the other couple of wheels that sit on the front of the movement we'll put them over there Get a better that fits better. Right now we'll start to put the wheels in. First wheel goes underneath there. take the mainspring out now because we know the correct orientation wheel goes in there the escape wheel goes there right now we'll put the top plate on Being a bit careful so we don't bend any pivots. Put one there. Put the cannon arbor in first. First wheel. Run it. Sit down a bit better. Second wheel. Let it come up a little bit. Open the plates, that's a bit better. Oh, dropped out again. Bring the black up. Over a little bit more. Okay. 
There's it. The escape wheel goes there. Right, they're all in now. We'll put a couple of nuts on to hold them in place. Then we can check them to see how the ah. gotcha. How the pivots and bushes fit together. Okay. See what we got. That one's not bad. A little bit of movement in the escape wheel, but not very much. Check the other side. Looking at that one there at the moment, they're actually pretty good. Relatively speaking. And that one there also. Right, I'll remove those and then put the going train in and see how they look. So those bushes and pivots are pretty much acceptable actually. I don't think this movement's done a lot of work. Okay, remove that. Top plate. Got it. Put the going side wheels back into our block. Now we'll put the strike train together. Putting in the mainspring gives us the correct orientation to start and we're putting in our wheels. Take that out, we don't need that now. The first wheel. Then the star wheel. Our wheel goes there. Then we'll put the fly in there. And that's a strike side setup. Now, put the top plate on once again. Got to go down into there. Those and those. Put a nut on down here to hold it. Okay. Now we can have a look and see what we got. Cannon Arbor. Got him. First wheels in. Move 
that one across. Then the star wheel. It's dropped out down the bottom. Now the star wheel. Okay, star wheel. Okay. These bushings are all pretty good. All got in play in them and very little side movement in them. Okay, we'll put the other wheel in and the fly. First wheel is in place. Got him. Okay. That's okay. Now we'll put the fly in. Open the plates a bit, everything will drop out again, doesn't matter. Come on. That wheel. Put the star wheel back in again. That's in. Now the fly. That's got them. They're all in place. I'll put another nut on the top here so they can't fall out. Then we'll check the pivot bushes. Looking okay. Now let's have a look at the bushes. I'm pretty surprised these are in damn good nick. We won't have to do any rebushing on this movement. I haven't been able to find any marks or brand or indication of anything not even the length of the pendulum which is normally marked just there or just there she's a complete clean skin this one oh well that's all very good you don't need to do any bushing right i'll put the um 
going side train in now. We'll start putting the movement together. I've taken the movement to pieces, put it through the ultrasonic cleaner to clean up all the brass parts. I've taken the springs out of the barrels, cleaned them, greased them, put them back in again, reassemble the movement, and it's been oiled up to this stage here. We're now going to put the parts on the front of the movement and set up the rack and snail. First we'll have to do, we'll put these flirts on. Unscrew them. And that into there. through the back and tighten this screw here that'll hold that flirt in place make sure it's still free to lift tighten it off Now the next one, goes in there. Slide the retaining nut on. It's a bit high, bring it down, that's better. Into there. Out through the back plate. Yep, got him. Bring that over. Tighten it down. Too tight, better loosen it off a bit. Move it over a fraction. There's a little bit more play in it. Tighten it again. Check it. Yep, much better. Okay. Put that down there. That's that one. Just check that's the hole it goes into. Yep. Put the spacer on. wheel and fit it into there. And put the snail on.
that into there and then find where the hole for it is. There we go. Now we'll put the rack on and then we'll align them. Put that down. We'll bring that down off the gathering pallet, which is that piece there. I'll loosen that up. Move it over the pallet to there. That's set up there with the rack leaning on the pin of the gathering pallet is at rest. Now before we go any further we're going to need some hands or at least a minute hand to wind it round to see what we've got. hand on it the flirts are working they're lifting up see them lifting up at the hour and dropping down again All right now we'll set the rack and snail. Take that off for a moment. Now that we've got those parts on, we'll oil them. One down the cannon arbor, two actually. Couple on the rack. Now, turn them over so we can do the flirts. Downside there. One, two. And on the back. Couple there. And Couple on the now we'll put the crutch on and the hammer and we'll put it on a test stand. We'll, we'll fire the movement up and check the timing on it. Right, we're ready to start the next part now. Put the 
pendulum leader on. Had to do the suspension spring. And then fit the suspension spring in there. So we can put a tapered pin in to hold it in place. Here we go. That'll have to be repaired before we actually have to be replaced. Pretty bloody shocking. Rough ends and it doesn't fit properly and it's too much hanging out one end. We'll do that. We'll put the pendulum on. Turn it round. Wind up the going train. Six, eight. We'll put a drop of oil on each of the pallets from there one there Start the pendulum moving. I'll put a beat amplifier on it so we can hear when it's in beat. Right, that needs to be adjusted. Take that off for a moment. Side of it. Screwdriver. This side up a little bit. A little bit looser. Almost right. I'll turn that round, make a final adjustment, then I'll be back. It's working smoothly now. Put our bead amplifier on. You can 
hear how out of beat that is. It's in beat now, it's nice and smooth. Put the minute hand on. Turn it. Gone into warning. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight o'clock. The minute hand was upside down, but that doesn't matter. Bring the camera around the front. So you can see. The setup on the snail. That's the rack. That lug there, that pin there has to rest on that nipple layer for eight o'clock. That is one o'clock. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight o'clock. The movement is running properly now. And it's in beat as you can hear. All we do now is we leave it on a test stand for four, for four or five days with another proven clock sitting beside it that keeps the correct time. And then we'll check it. And we'll get it down as close to the spec of plus or minus one minute a day. And then it'll go back into the case. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about antique and vintage clock repair, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.